So, you know, I go to the movies once a year. Right. Maybe twice. So it got to be good. It. It so gotta, you got to be comfortable. So, yeah. And, okay. you know, it's... I know, I don't care if you judge me about this, but, like, I think all black people do this. Okay. Especially when you're in a diverse area. Yeah. So I'm like, you know, my wife, you know, we get good deals on movie tickets. Okay. Because of her job. Oh, so I, I could I could have paid the same price. So I had a choice between, you know, the dining experience. Yeah. For $9. Okay. Or I go to AMC for $9. Okay. Anybody else with any other movie, I'm going to the dining. Got it. Nine bucks, right? Yeah. But this is a black movie. Okay. So I want to be around. <laughs> It's AMC, so I'm like, and it's Woodland Hills more in the city area. Yeah. So I'm like, I want to see other black people. I want to experience this together, yeah. right? Yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I got you. I think yeah. we all do this. Yeah. Like, as soon as we got to the theater, I saw some black people coming out, right? Yeah, what you do? And, and they looked at me, and they went like this. They gave me the, the nod. The nod. <laughs> they gave me the nod. They nodded down. I'm like, What's yeah, up, brother? You know exactly why I'm here. <laughs> oh I'm going to go see Queen and Slim. AJ. And they gave me the movie like, they, they looked at me like, boy, that shit was good. <laughs> And I was like, damn, I got to go in there. Yeah. And that's uh, basically. The signals. It was signals. Yeah. And it was, uh, all right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I got to go in. So I'm right. excited, right? Yeah. So I get in Just there. Just on the reaction like, of the black people oh, coming my out. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I'm like, all right. I, I go pay for the ticket. I'm like, uh -huh. yeah, that's great. We're, we're in there. Yeah. And we get upstairs. Hold on, hold on. You um, you you bought the ticket there. You, you know how you, so we bought we prepaid for it. But it's oh, like, okay. I'm about to say who still who still send a line and buy tickets. No, no, oh, yeah, okay. We just go print it out. Whatever. Yeah, I got you. So we can like choose the seats or whatever. Yeah. So <clears throat> so we go upstairs, right? It's a 20, 10, 20 movie, so it's kind of late. Yeah. We go in there, and I I haven't been there in a year, right? Right. So I want to see all the previews because I don't know what's coming out. <laughs> right. So I'm like, I'm there early. Early. <laughs> but it wasn't too early. I go, I go get some popcorn. Yeah. Boom. Shit's cold. I'm like, huh. Pop, cold. Pop the popcorn was cold. I was like, all mm -mm, right, cool. Mm -mm. And I was like, I, I hate being that guy, but I was that guy because yeah. I'm getting older. And yeah. I'm like, I'm like, hey man, uh, can I this is kind of cold. Do you mind if I switch this out? He's like, yeah, no problem. So he go, he instead of popping more popcorn, yeah, he goes he scoops. To the same, he <laughs> scoops it out of the middle, and he was like this. Uh, he holds it. He's like, this should be a little bit warmer. A little bit warmer? And, you know, they're 15, 16 yeah. years old. I said, nigga, what? <laughs> <laughs> I said, did you just do that? And, 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 and you know, Kier looked at me. My wife was like, she was like, she yeah. was like just come on, come on. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, all right, So cool. you let it go. I let it go. Did you put, you put warm butter on it? Did he, did I did warm put it the warm butter on oh, okay, that. So that I'm helps. like, cool, you that know. Yeah, yeah. I was going to put some jalapenos in it because yeah. that's how cold it was. Yeah. And <laughs> 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 so, hey, that is good, though. Jalapenos and popcorn. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. That's, I think that's a West Coast thing. I, they put me on. Did Is you it? Do that before? Oh, I think I, she put me on the set. I put them on my nachos though. I, put them on my I think that's popcorn. a West Coast thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because I never did it back east. Right, me either. So we walk into the movie theater. We're the first ones. Damn. And right, right. Yeah. You know, and and uh, so we walk in, bruh. Yeah. That shit was a mess. There was what? popcorn on all the floor, cups all over the seats and everything. And I'm mm -hmm. like, oh shit. I'm like, this is. This is not good. Right. And my wife is like, <laughs> my wife's like, this is a bad experience. That's all I needed to set it off. Oh. I said, you having a bad experience? I've been waiting to yell at someone all fucking week. <laughs> I'm tired of yelling at Amazon. I'm about to light this shit up. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I go in, right? And I'm yeah. like, all right, cool. I, there's no one upstairs except for that. The guy that gave me the damn popcorn. Yeah. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going downstairs. Some Popping teenager. To, the, yeah, teenager, the ticket lady. I was like, hey, you know. Um, Can we get somebody to clean the theater? Yeah. <laughs> it's like number 11 is still not, you know, it's. Uh, it's dirty. It's dirty. Yeah. And she was like, oh, wait, what? And the guy that I was like right next to her, he's like, wait, I cleaned 12, 13, 14, 15, which was frozen and some other like Ford and Ferrari. I was like. Yeah. So you didn't clean number 11, Oh, huh? so you didn't clean the black movie theater. You, you see where I'm going? Oh, okay. So I, said, I said, I'm following you, AJ. I said, yo, this experience is getting worse than me. Yeah. And I went like this. I need to speak to a manager. She's like, well, I don't know if one is here today. I said, excuse me? What? You don't know if one's here today. She's like, well, there should be, but I, I'm not sure. I'm like, then what are you sure of? Ooh, you said that? I, bruh, I sound like a, like a true... That was hard. Old man. That was, was hard. Like, yeah, so, was so, like, so, so, so what'd she say? Keep going. And she, she, no, she turned around like I was about to go away. Because I know there was more people coming. She, she had to do turned around tickets. like I you said, walked I said, off. I said, oh, my God. And so I let her do the tickets real quick. Yeah. I said, excuse me. I said, uh, is your manager coming? She's like, let me call someone real quick. And then by then, uh, Buddy, that was right next to her, yeah. 
went to go tell people. He was proactive. He was right. proactive. Okay. So she was like, I think there might be a supervisor upstairs. So I'm like, do I need to go upstairs? Boom. She was like, uh, I don't know. I said, you don't know. Great. I went to the front. Yeah. And I talked to this guy named Jesse. I'm going to put his name out there. Jesse. Jesse was like, he was cool because he was honest. Yeah. I was like, bro. I was like, yo, uh, is your manager here? Yeah. And he was like, uh, yes, but how can I help you? And I had to tell him the story, blah, blah, blah. Skip yeah. That. yeah. And then he was like, uh, yeah, uh, I'm sorry that happened, man. I just do tickets, man. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. He said, but a manager will come in here in a few minutes. Okay. They're cleaning it right now. Got it. I'm like, bet. Cool. Now it is 1025. And he, he, and what time he, the he, tried, come he, on? he tried, it's 1020, the previews. Okay. He's like, oh, just let you know, it's 20 minutes of uh, previews. I don't want you to miss it. I said, I uh, see what you did there. Okay. I said, nice curveball. Yeah. But that's not going to work. Uh. So. 10 minutes goes by. It's 1035. Oh, shit. no manager. And mind you, I know busy. Yeah, it was not it busy. Wasn't busy. It wasn't like fucking uh, like Star Wars, you know, out the door. No, yeah. no. Right? He was like, well, three people called out and I'm like, all right, that's that's that fine. I don't do? have nothing to do with me. Right. I'm sorry that happened. I said, so when is this manager coming on? Coming down. He was like, uh, they should be here in a couple minutes. Two more minutes go by and he sees that I'm getting angry. So he gives me two free tickets. Oh. He's like, hey, uh, the manager um, wanted me to give this to you. He says, apologize. It's it's done now if you guys want to go in. Yeah. I said, bro, you're not getting my point. I wanted to tell him how I was having a bad experience. Right. And you don't have the time or decency to come yeah, you just you just ready on be like, give him two free tickets. Because you know why? He thought I was, that's yeah. what black people want. Some free, some free shit. Some free shit. I'm like, yo, bro, oh, I nah. could have gone send this. I wanted to see it here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, you can't take. He's like, he's like, yo, if you want to, you can come back in the morning uh, and make a complaint. I was like, hold oh on. Oh, my I need goodness. To, I said, you want me I to said, be inconvenienced again? I said, Jesse, give me my money back, man. He's like, I'm sorry. And I said, and I want my money back for this popcorn. Oh. And he gave it to me, but I'm like, I, I was like, the point is, like, yo, why are they doing this for the black movie? Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, that was it, that was a true bad experience. And then me and my wife, we got our tickets because we we're gonna take those free tickets. Yeah. That's, a, that's a good uh, yeah. <laughs> stocking stuffers. Yeah. Oh, I see what you did. Yeah, yeah that's good. And, and we went to the dining place and went to go see it and had a great experience. Oh, so y'all left there and went to the dine one. There. So what time did they, that that start? Eleven thirty. Oh, and see, you know, I made that was a it. long. We, we made it. We made. It. We went oh. and saw, it. but that we were dedicated to go see it. But we wanted to, you know, I wanted yeah. to be in a certain environment. And gotcha. we, of course, when I went to the dining one, it's in Thousand Oaks, and it was like. You know, yeah, that can sometimes go one way or the other, yeah, you know, because yeah. sometimes we'll go, and I hate to say it, but you know, when it's you know, a lot of black and brown people in the theater, it's sometimes loud or you know, but that's talking, what I wanted. but I can't have that when I'm watching the movie, <laughs> though, but except, except for when we went to go see Get uh, Out, Get Out of Compton, Get Out of Compton. It was like a out. party in there. It was dope. <laughs> certain certain movies you Depends gotta on go movie. see with certain people. And also, yeah. and also not just black and brown people. Sometimes you can go in there with white people that don't know how to handle their kids. Or kids. Kicking the seats. Oh my right. God. You know what I'm saying? Talking. Teenage, teenage, um, some teenage chicks. Young talking, teenagers. You know on, what I'm saying? On their phones. Yeah, so like it ain't all just black and brown people. It'd be a lot of people that be messing up your movie experience. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, th we had the theater to ourselves in Thousand Oaks, so it was cool. But, you know, it was a great movie. And it was so funny. Y'all remember the beginning of the movie, right? Um, yeah. It's not a spoiler alert. Yeah. yeah. She, was like, she was basically like, oh, why do you let that yeah. slide? Yeah. When he was getting his eggs. Yeah. I was like, I was so proud of myself. I thought I was I'm like, man, I am fantastic. I didn't let nothing I, slide. Right, exactly. Why, if you right here with <laughs> we, me, we good. Nah, we, we did it together. We felt like we accomplished something, so. That's what's up, man. Yeah, man. That was good, yeah, bro. Yeah, you took us on a journey just then. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, yeah. So well, the floor is yours. My our, our, our um experience, I didn't really get this to look at the crowd before the movie started because we was like super early mm -hmm. and it wasn't like nobody I in did. there. Mm -hmm. No, it was like nobody in there and then right. people slowly start trickling, trickling in. in. Right. But I, I I guess I wasn't really paying attention mm -hmm. but <laughs> I knew who was in the audience right. <laughs> once the when movie started. Start like, happening. <laughs> <laughs> and then, when stuff started happening yeah. uh, in the favor of black people on oh, the movie. Yeah. Oh yeah. I heard claps and <laughs> claps. cheers. I'm like, oh okay. They oh, in when, here. Or when you laugh at the same time like, haha, <laughs> yep. After those 42. <laughs> Me and you, you don't yeah. get it. You don't get it. Yeah, but uh, to, to to give an honest review without spoiling the movie, it's like sometimes 
I mean, I love a message for movies. Don't get it wrong. Mm. My wife and I, we love certain movies. We love certain messages. But sometimes your message could be thrown off oh, yeah. when you try to do too much. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're right. Like, um, um, shout out to uh, Jordan Peele. Oh, us. N- us. Get Out was good. Us is like he tried to put too many, too many gems in there for people to like too many Easter eggs. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And like oh, sometimes too much of anything is not good. Right. So like I felt like some of that happened in this movie because some of the points that could they were taken the wrong way. Could it be taken You're the right. wrong way? Yeah. And then some of them just didn't really make sense. I agree. So when I see something like that coming from a creative person that I respect in a certain their field, it just has me wondering like what were they thinking about doing this? Because it seems so simple to me. You know what I'm saying? I don't even write movies or, or, stri- or scripts or none of that stuff, you know, and I can, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I can see something being too much. You right, feel me? Right, right, right. So I think, but overall the movie was really overall good. Overall is good. Yeah. It was shot. Well, the music, the, the, the soundtrack, the, so- I had the soundtrack, the soundtrack is good. Phenomenal. The acting was great. Right. Um, I, I think they did a good job. It's just like, it, it could have been, I think, I think maybe three or four scenes could have been left out I agree. and it would have been a, a perfect movie. Yeah. And I, I also agree. think it's, it's more than I think people have this perception that it's a Bonnie and Clyde movie and it's not. It's not. It's not a Bonnie and Clyde movie. Right. You know, obviously it's a relationship. They're a couple or something happens. So there's that element. But I think it's a lot more than just two criminals on the run, which is what Bonnie and Clyde were. You right. Know You're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah. That was well said. Yeah. That was well said, man. That's that's why my baby is on the podcast. That's why, <laughs> but that's why my baby got that third mic. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We did all the interviews. She passed. Bro, you no, remind no. me of Martin right now. <laughs> Y'all are the new Martin and Gina. Martin and Gina. <laughs> hey, my ears to give me some sugar. Babe, we got.